Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Playtech TV. I'm your host, Arnith, and today we're gonna to be doing something slightly different by revisiting the peripheral side of computing products. As you can see, we have four mechanical keyboards here, and as you might have predicted, we're gonna be doing a comparison between the Cherry MX key switches, which are the blues, blacks, reds, and browns. So first off, we're gonna give you guys the technical information about each of the keys, and then we're gonna give you guys a good listen to what they each sound like, and then we're gonna share with you our impressions and then put it all into a summarized statement to help you decide which Cherry MX switch is right for you. The black switches use a linear format switch, which does not give any feedback or any click, and it has an actuation force of 60 grams, which may vary depending on the keyboard, and it has an actuation distance of two millimeters, and it'll take four millimeters to bottom out. The blue switches on the other hand use a tactile and clicky switch which provides a lot of feedback especially with the click at the end when you bottom out. It has an actuation force of 50 grams and likewise to the blacks it has a 2mm actuation distance with 4mm to bottom out. The brown switch is quite similar to the blues but it does not have that extra click at the end. It has an actuation force of 45 grams which makes it the lighter of the three that we've covered so far but the 2mm actuation distance and the 4mm length to bottom out remains the same. And lastly we have the red switch which likewise to the blacks uses a linear style format which does not provide any feedback but its actuation force is 45 grams which makes it sort of a dumbed down version of the black switch. Its actuation distance is 2mm and 4mm to bottom out so once again it remains the same across each switch. So the way that we're going to conduct the sound test is we're going to put the microphone about 0.5 meters away from the keyboard so you get an idea of what it will sound like when you're using it in real life. The black switch was very sturdy and had a very smooth feel to it due to its linear format. It was also quieter than the other keyboards, but there was no feedback, which could be a problem for some people because there's no physical indication letting you know that you've pressed the key or not. The blue switch was the complete opposite to the black due to its definite feedback, but it was marginally louder due to the click that you get when you bottom out the key. However, it was a very great pleasure to type on. The brown switch had a nice and light feel because of its low actuation force and it was quieter than the blues because it did not have that click when you bottom out and it did still have that tactile feedback. The red switch had a very nice and smooth feel to it due to its linear format and there was no feedback or click in the end so I guess you could say it was the little brother of the black switches. If you're looking for a keyboard solely for gaming, then I suggest you go for a black or a red switch because they allow you to swiftly press each key. Go for the reds if you want speed and a lighter touch, and go for the blacks if you want precision and a smooth feel. If you're a typist, then I suggest you go for the brown or the blue keys because they give you a physical indication when you've actuated the key. Go for the blues if you want definite and clear feedback, and go for the browns if you don't fancy the click. If you want the best of both worlds, then the brown switch is your best bet because it sits somewhere in the middle of all the switches and it's a great hybrid for gaming and typing. So just in case you're wondering, the keyboard that we featured today is the Ducky Shy 2 and as you can see we have a different range of LEDs and colors. So everything you've heard in this video is purely opinion based with no influence from anyone else so I suggest you come into Playtech New Zealand and let our friendly staff show you this product because the only true way to find out which switch is for you is to try it out yourself. So thanks for checking out our mechanical Cherry MX Switch comparison video. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit that like button below and maybe subscribe. But if you didn't, that's all good. We'd very much appreciate if you leave some feedback down in the comments section below so that we can improve our videos. I'm your host, Anna from Playtech TV. See you guys again in the next episode of Playtech TV.